So what does Congress actually do? This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. So welcome back. We are continuing with our discussion of the Constitution. This video picks up the discussion of Article 1 of the Constitution. This is the article of the Constitution that creates the Houses of Congress and gives them the power to create laws. In that video, I mentioned that there are 10 sections to Article 1. I mentioned that sections 8 and 9 spell out the powers and the limitations of Congress. So in this video, I'm going to get into the details about those powers and those limitations. So section eight of article one focuses primarily on the powers of Congress and it gives Congress the powers to levy taxes, to pay debts, fund the national defense, and to promote the general welfare, to borrow money from US credit, to set rules for commercial and social interactions between the US and other countries, among the states, and with native tribes, to make rules for becoming a US citizen, to set bankruptcy rules, to mint coin and set its value, to set standards for weight and measure, to punish counterfeiting, to establish post offices and post roads, to provide patents for arts and science, to establish inferior courts with limited jurisdiction, to define high seas crimes and punishments, to declare war, to raise armies, to maintain a navy, to make rules governing the arms and naval forces, to use military force to maintain the rule of law. Now, section eight of article one gives Congress the right to arm and organize militias, but it reserves to states selecting officers and training these militias. Section eight of article one gives Congress the right to establish a capital like Washington DC. Section eight of article one also gives Congress the right to create any additional laws that are needed to maintain and to exercise these powers effectively. Now section nine of article one of the US constitution spells out what Congress cannot do. Congress cannot prevent states from admitting people. Now when this was written into the constitution there was actually a limit limitation of 10 years put on it. Congress does not have the right to detain people without a valid reason. Congress cannot punish people without a trial. Congress can't create laws and punish people ex post facto. This means a person can't be charged for doing something that was legal when they did it and then Congress passed a law that made it illegal. Congress can't tax a specific individual in a specific individual way. Congress can't tax imports and exports between states. Congress can't show preference for any particular state regarding regulations as far as commercial and social interactions. Congress cannot unlawfully take money from the treasury. Congress cannot fail to account for money in the treasury. Congress cannot give out titles of nobility. Section nine also gives Congress the right to approve of any gifts that that are offered from another country to any state official. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that section 10 of article one of the US Constitution limits states' rights. I mentioned that some of these limitations of state would make more sense in the context of our conversation of the limitations of Congress. So states are also limited in their powers as far as detaining people unlawfully or charging people ex post facto. Now where Congress can't levy taxes as far as imports and exports between states, states can levy these taxes. But the way these taxes can be levied is regulated by Congress, including what happens with the profits from those taxes. In my part one video discussing article one of the US Constitution, I mentioned that there were several differences between the House of Representatives and the Senate. I'm gonna be discussing those differences in my next video. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, Comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself the way